We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Represent, represent. What's up? Welcome to GospelRhythms.com. Talk Live Radio on LATalkLive.com. I'm Bro Williams. I'm Rory Darvell sitting in for the lovely Trisha Man Grant. Yo, Trisha team. Mm. Grant, how are y'all doing out there? Girl, we miss you. You know, she's uh, on a brief hiatus. You yes. know, she was just here uh, two weeks ago. We we, we rebroadcast our our. Uh, show uh, the last show that she and I did together, and she took a little sick spell. So we are um, praying your recovery. We understand you are going to be back in California on Wednesday. So mm-hmm. we also pray for your safe travels as well. Mm-hmm. And good, we both good, know good. health is wealth, right? Health is wealth. Health is wealth. As I take in my cupcake. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of wealth, somebody had a birthday up in here. Birthday Whoa, woo-woo. party in the house. Hey, woo-woo. 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 Raise your candles. Raise Bingo. your cupcakes. Bingo. Oh, yeah. Come on, DJ. Where's my DJ over there? I was like, I put in a request. You know, there's a birthday song. Yeah, yeah. What's birthday that? Your, uh, what's that? Yeah, the, the, you know, that's they charge right, for I'm, that's charging. That's right. Using I'm juice. using up the power. <laughs> using up the power up in this place. <laughs> I got, got the power. Cupcake. I guess you caked out. Yeah. I had German chocolate cake last night. I saw night. that. I saw the all the... I was partying I at the Bonaventure. I was there. <laughs> I was there, too. Thing. In spirit. Yeah, he In wasn't spirit. there. I, had, In spirit. I hosted the Michael Jackson contest last there. night. Oh, yeah? She wasn't there. Uh-huh. Uh, you should have sent me pictures annual. so we could put them up. Fourth annual. I got them in my phone or something. I can do it on oh, my phone. Oh, yeah. Something. We'll put them up. Mm-hmm. Put them up. I was getting down, and we had a good time. Had a great Oh, man. Time. That's right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Happy Father's Day to me. Where is that? I don't know the words. Mm-hmm. This is the words. instrumental version. Yeah. I was gonna say, "Happy yeah. birthday." There you go. There you go. That's not how the song begins. No, <laughs> it begins with lyrics, and then the hook. Mm-hmm. You know, I knew that. Or in our house. Team Rolo. Team Rolo. I meant to light that candle, but uh, matches yeah, are scarce around that, here. I figured it was a fire hazard. So oh yeah! Light. Oh yeah! Mm-hmm. Dance. I'm gonna have to jump rope this off big time in the morning. I haven't had nothing but cake. Oh my goodness! All weekend I've been caking it, Van Eric. I've been just caking it. I guess I had German chocolate cake. I had pineapple coconut cake. Two of my favorites. I had them all. Oh my god! Happy cupcake. birthday to you! Party! Happy man. Man, you over a half a you over over a century, half a century. Mm-hmm. I am. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How's it feel? I'm fifty dose. There it is. That was Spanish. Hey, but you know what? Bain, bain up. No, that's bain No, that's bain 20, 22. 22. See, I know that's 40. Bain I think, no, that's 100. I'd be like, I'm bain dos. Cuarenta is 40. I don't know and, what it is. And you get what knocked out if you, if you say anything over that. Mm-mm-mm. I know how old you are. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. I've been knowing you since you used to babysit me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Shit, no, that ain't true. Nobody wait asked you to get on. Yeah, wait, 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 to get on the mic. So is it, she's trying to tell you that old man, mm. and, or is she's that young. Mm, well, basically, if I'm, if I'm that old. That baby's in her. That's how old she is too. <laughs> <laughs> she's up there. Mm, mm. I take a half of twenty five, please. Mm-hmm. Half of twenty two. Half of fifty two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, mm-hmm. get um. Mm. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, show a picture of our, 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 our lovely Trisha Man Grant. We just miss you, girl. We know you out there on pause. There. She's on pause right mm-hmm. now. Losing the job because I'm taking over. <laughs> too <laughs> many sick days. Something. Too many sick days. Let me tell you something. She was spreading she herself too thin like she was margarine. Mm. Oh, well. On both coasts. I told her. I talked to her. Coastal, right? mm, well, I talked to her. I told her. I said, listen, girl. I talked to her. I said, you got to take care of your health first. I know you're trying to be the entertainer and all that and do all that. I know about being busy. Believe me. And a wife. And a mom. Yep, all and that. And a businesswoman. All and a that. Doing all that and doing and it all well. And, and see, an actress. See that? But none of that. I didn't hear nothing about no good health up in none of that. You know, she was I working out. She was going back mm-hmm. riding with her boo. Mm-hmm. See, the more of this story is, you know, you Eat need right. to look out for me, too. And take Eat me more green and vegetables. <laughs> like, we, we, we eating cupcakes, and we got the license. That's right. That's we right. The, We're telling you what to do. We can eat these we cupcakes. We got the because. address to good health right here. Yeah, Amen. Right. Ha! Deep Two recovery. words. Simply wholesome. 
I'm just saying. Simply wholesome. That's these cupcakes are wholesome. simply delicious. Yeah, these cupcakes are. Um, we're going to have these cupcakes today. Um, but Monday, I'll be jump roping this off. I'll be jump roping all this off on Monday. Mm. You want to do more than jump rope? I'll be jump roping a long time. Jump roping, drinking water, and jumping. modifying I your. I drink a lot of. Look at that juice. Look at juice. You got pressels got over there. Here. You got. Hey, hey, hey. Hand me that. Hand hey, me that. Let hey, me see if how I many wanted that on sugar. camera, I would have had it on camera. <laughs> People don't need to know everything. You just think a little bit too well, much. Well, you know, they need to know you can struggle. A bit too much. Keep yeah, the struggle. The struggle is real. The struggle is my birthday. The war on fat is real. Uh, it's a war. How should you get a cupcake? How many cupcakes? There's a whole box of cupcakes. Uh, yeah, there. you can't just have cake for you and nobody else. Okay, well, if you put it if together, we're going down, cake. everybody in this studio is going everybody down. Going Everybody's down. going down. Going okay. Down. Everybody Jump rope down. on Monday. Jump rope. Thirty minutes. Sixty minutes for you. Everybody's cholesterol <laughs> is going up. Ah, I'm talking about. Just make your cholesterol go up. Huh? Cupcakes? Uh, it's a cupcake. Look at that. Ain't nothing nutritious. I wish you'd have told me that before <laughs> I ate it. I thought it just made your hips go up. And oh, I please. got hips and cholesterol. The what pain. kind of damage is going on up in here? The paper's probably the healthy th healthiest thing on here because it's made <laughs> out of paper. trees. <laughs> That's about it. I guess Everything I'll be up. eating the paper too. Well, I used to. Processed. Now don't act like you don't eat the paper. We used to just want to get the last yeah, bit of that the chocolate. Last bit. You I can't just do put the whole the paper in your mouth and you just like. Again, I got to be responsible around. Trisha, did we say we missed you again? Did we say that? Did we say we missed you, Trisha? <laughs> <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> she is Trisha in the is. air. <laughs> she's out Hopefully there. Hopefully she's watching. Let me she's text watching. her. We are she talking about watching. you now. Are your ears are burning? Okay, I'm gonna send her a message. She can call in. Does she know the calling number? Uh, yeah, I texted in. to her. I texted in. to her. Did I do it right? What did I say? Is I said four seven three thirty one hundred. Did I say four seven three thirty one hundred? You can two, call three. in your well wishes for her. Call in. Hey girl, well. are your ears burning? Because we are talking about talking you about on you air. on the air. <laughs> talking about you on the air. On the air. She called me too. Hey, she said, "Would you take air. over?" For she me? actually called you. She yeah. actually called you. Well, right. via hey. Facebook. What's that over there? I what? see flyers. Something about Danny being a visitor. That's right. Can I have one? Yes, you can. Let's talk about that's, what's going on in the world. That's as close as you're going to get to the actual show <laughs> anyway as a flyer. She'll never come to nothing. No, you that. know, never, I'm a recluse. I need, a, I need somebody recluse. to come escort me out of my house. Michael Jackson was a recluse. He got out more than you. <laughs> he performed. <laughs> He I had a purpose so I, I I like a purpose Because somebody Come pick me up And get me out the house Besides I hear So I'm sold out anyway So I'm going to get uh, No actually the Let me just proudly say <laughs> The premiere show Is sold out Yes, we sold out the premiere show Yes, we did But we have five more shows That people can come and see Oh And uh, you know it's a, it's a hot show Can you let me you know, know When the, the dates are Like is this uh, on a Saturday July 11th, 11th July 12th July 18th And July 19th they have five shows to choose but from. Can you let people know theaters. the day of the week it's on? Saturday and Sunday. So okay. it's uh, July 11th. It's at 2 p.m. Uh, that's it. Cause, uh, oh, it's so two weekends back to back. Two weekends back to back. Got it. We six shows, but like, y'all can only come see five. One of the five because one of them is sold out. The red carpet premiere is sold out because people from all around the neighborhood want to see that show. They all around is coming from all over the and and, and you know you guys. This is um, I wouldn't finish with you. Sunday Sunday is at three o'clock p.m. <laughs> Sunday on July twelfth <laughs> at the Pico Playhouse. And then the following weekend is going to be at the Meta Theater for three cupcake. big shows. Three big shows at the Meta Theater. Three p.m. and seven p.m. on the eighteenth, which is a Saturday, and then five p.m. on the nineteenth, which is a Sunday. That's hot. Did you have two different theater playhouses? That that's you how are. we doing it. That's hot. Y'all have. Have expanded now. When you originally so, took took originally, off, what theater how, playhouse were you guys in? We weren't. It was uh, it was done at a church when we did it last year. It was just kind of just kind of put up there just to see. Wow, you know what? But I just love heavy. how God grows things because you know we had Josanne Marie and she had when she first started talking about doing her one woman beautiful show play. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of like yours, uh, like Invisible Danny has taken the life of its own. It just has snowballed. I mean, she's yes. she's getting invites out of the state. Twenty eight year old writer, Kiana Richards, which they'll be here. July Yay! The 5th. They'll be here July the fifth. So get your pen. Save the day, July the fifth. Yep, that's on a Sunday. The okay, original Danny will be here, including me. I'm I'm in that. Did I mention? So the fourth of July is on a Saturday this year. It's so you have Saturday. no excuse for not being here. You should have. Come yeah, in, yeah. pull up a chair, decompress from all that food you exactly. eat. Exactly. All that barbecue y'all yeah, gonna be eating. Get ready. Man. Yeah, we're gonna be up in here though. Well we it's gonna a go to <laughs> we, we should go to a commercial when we come back. You know, this <laughs> is no did we I guess you could say this is our life kicking it, having fun, oh, Father's, Father's Day. Day. Happy Father's yeah, Day. Happy all Father's, Father's Day. Day. I'm a father. Wow. I did I did procreate. People don't seem to find it hard to believe. I don't know why. 
I, I I I know that you have. He's as big as you people, now. People find out. And was it, a, was it was it Father's like, Day it at the time when you gave huh? birth to him? Was it Father's Day? I didn't Day? give birth to him. I didn't do that much. I mean, you for as a participant. I so participated. Yes, I so was So you there. were pregnant too, even though it wasn't you per se. Are you trying to talk about my the stomach? The I'm worried. <laughs> I said I'm jump roping. Why you gotta get personal? First of all, I didn't say you was a Teletubby. I just okay. said you I were pregnant too. Did I say he was a Teletubby? Yeah, you was pregnant too. What you trying to say? Tickle me Elmo. We'll be back with more gospel rhythm stuff. Hold on. Hold on. Our engineer is like, hey, wait, wait. The plane is, is getting ready to go down. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Huh. Smokers. We love you. All these fathers is on it. He already talked to his boo. I love you, daughter. <laughs> no, that's my sister. I had to. Yeah, that's all. It's all good. We love you. <laughs> it was just funny. <laughs> we'll be back. Gospelrhythms.com. We'll be this right after back. Row and row. Gospel rhythm still going strong. Trust in God when it's good or when it's going wrong. Encourage other believers to keep holding on. Catching the vision and we making it plain. We the head, not the tail, so we won't complain. Here to lift up the downcast and the broken hearted. Changing lights with the truth, so let's get it started. We got the word, music, entertainment, life. You can catch us on the air every Sunday night with special guests, the news, and interesting stories. A platform for the kingdom to divide the glory worldwide, and we live on the YouTube. Stream. What you know about the Gospel Rivers magazine? But God's in it, you don't gotta chase dreams. Uh-huh. You need to check us out and see what Gospel we mean. Rivers, uh. That's the vision. Okay. Heaven's party. Here's the vision. Here's the vision. Here's the Hi, this is Araceli inviting you to join us every Sunday at 2 p.m. for Veterans Day Live. Join us as we provide info that will help all military personnel. So don't forget to tune in to Veterans Day Live every Sunday at 2 p.m. exclusively on latalklive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio, R&B, Radio Flag, TuneIn Radio, Live 365, AHA Radio, Table Radio, and Apple TV Radio, or just watch and listen directly at latalklive.com. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening and viewing pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Hi, this is John McClure Jr., a.k.a. Simply John, and I would like to invite you to join us on gospelrhythms.com every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our show, gospelrhythms.com, Talk Live Radio. Join us as we celebrate Christians around the world in all genres of entertainment, as well as highlight interest stories on men and women who are making a difference and impacting their community. So don't forget to tune in to GospelRhythms.com on LA Talk Live. And we're more than just talk. Remember, it's a heaven's party here on earth. So live life. Love God. Yeah. Lights out. Lights on, lights off. Lights on, lights off. What's up? Welcome back to gospelrhythms.com. Talk live radio on latalklive.com. We're we're more than just reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. We're heaven's party here on earth. (laughs) She sounds like she's been drinking. No, I was trying to. I I was. I was just drinking some water. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is Row and Row Edition. (laughs) That's right. The Row Row Edition. Give me some. Row Row. Bam. Blowing up. Blowing up. You like the Seattle Seahawks. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. The Golden State Warriors. Hopefully, if you're just joining us now, we are on your smartphone. So please spread yes. the word, tweet, Instagram, Facebook, call, tweet, uh, text, or however you communicate. Yell out the window if you have to and tell everybody to come to the party, you know. Uh, we have so much to celebrate. It is Father's Day, so mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. I was seeing so many awesome pictures posted uh, of images of celebrating Father's Day. But the one that struck me the most is... Um, the real child support and it was a picture of and I, I thought I had grabbed it but I didn't but it was a r- picture of a father sitting down next to his child going over homework oh. and it was just it just kind of warmed my heart because I was like wow that's mm-hmm. kind of a different take on real child support like mm-hmm. you know really supporting your child oh you so popular your phone is going off 
He's blowing up. He's a birthday boy too. Now, Father's when you gave birth to your child, I didn't give birth to him. Okay, why'd you say that? I'm saying that because if your woman or your wife is pregnant, you're pregnant. If she's giving birth, you've given birth. I, I still look at it as a as when she <laughs> gave birth. Okay, I ain't trying to say you like on a Caitlin tip. Okay, when your woman gave birth, okay? Yeah. Okay, when she gave birth, was it Father's Day at that time? Like I don't know the timeline. No, or? it was it was uh he was born in December. So it was like winter time. Oh, he's a December baby. Yep. Oh, okay. I must have said I thought okay, so huh? Christmas. Yeah. Okay, he's a Christmas baby, so yeah. I know that sucks for him because I would have been like Christmas presents and um, <laughs> birthday presents. That's yeah, like well. certain times you don't want to be born, and that's like one. Well, he had no choice in that matter. So. <laughs> I, I would have been yeah. like, couldn't y'all thought of another day to, you know, consummate no, we didn't, we didn't, this situation we didn't, we didn't, we didn't and bring think me in of it like that? We just, <laughs> no, yeah. I'm saying if I was the kid, I'm like, we used to oh. tease anybody had a birthday in December around Christmas. We was like, ah, oh, you just that's so sad for you, so sad for you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I share a pet peeve on this Father's Day? Oh Lord! Is it the same one you had last year? What? Which one was that? The tell me, and I'll let you know if it was. Okay, because I would repeat it again. Uh, mothers, women. Wait, let me America. guess. Can I guess? Okay, yeah. Why are they? No, it's the same one as you had last year. Hold up. Oh, it is. Why? Uh, why is it that on y'all day y'all don't give shout outs to the dads, but on our day you're like and shout outs to the mothers who are the fathers when it's just our day? Oh, well, that's just one. But no, that's not the. That's, that's not that's, this year. That's <laughs> not this year's one. No, that was last year. This year's one. Just can you just say Happy Father's Day <laughs> and not put on the caveat and all the uh, uh, to the real father, you know, <laughs> talking to the ones that take care of their kids and what. We don't do that on Mother's Day. We just say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Just say Happy Father's Day. Why you got to put a, this negative connotation on it? Just say Happy Father's Day. Just keep it. Just we, the, the bad fathers know you're not talking to them. So why do you get brought up? The deadbeat dads know you ain't talking to them. So why do I got to be brought up? Just say Happy Father's Day. Like he it's like, look like he's trying to say something. You know, you know it's nah. just. You know. I was just going to say they do the same thing for Mother's Day too. No, they to all the they do to, to all, all the real the, mothers, to all the real mothers out there. I've never they seen do. it, but yeah, I do exactly. know. Exactly, I've seen it definitely in my youth. I've seen it, and 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 the restaurants is just as easy to get into on Father's Day. You can't get into a Taco <laughs> Bell on Mama's Day. <laughs> Father's Day, come on in. Everybody sit down. We get no love on Father's Day. Dang, we don't get. I think it must can't. be the children's fault because they're the ones Jeez. celebrating and congratulating the mamas. And uh, yeah. I guess the perception is that moms do all the work. Kind of, sort of, you know, I'm sorry to say that it does appear that way. I mean, you guys help may home bring home the bacon, but as far as the upkeep of the house and being there or nurturing out for the kids and doing homework, I mean. Oh, uh, we do things with the kids we do the outside stuff with the kids we do the sporting <laughs> stuff and all that kind of stuff and the, and the putting foot in the behind stuff and that kind that's of shoot you know, my mom was an expert you know, at that so trust me we when do I that tell we you. do that stuff we do that stuff too that way till your father gets home was only in the sitcoms so, it was i'm gonna get in it and then when your father gets okay, home he bro, gonna get in it too okay so he still got involved he yeah. still had to he but still you know what i think it. we were raised at a different Bottom time mind, we, i want my own day I want Father's Day. You don't take us nowhere. We don't go out nowhere as it is. So can we get our own day? The restaurants Wait. is all empty. Which is, did your you children to, take your take huh? their mom out and do something? No, the for children her? didn't. The fathers paid for that. The children, the children got the credit for no, it. No, I'm saying no, no, your no, kids. Huh? What did your kids do for mom that they didn't do for you? Nothing. I ain't do okay. They so y'all both got no, equal treatment no, because the father was paying for it. We got if we want to go out for Father's Day, we got to pay for that too. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, here's where you here's where you're gonna pay for us to take you. It's like, can Mama pay for that? It's like, come on. I see people as they calling in on my side. They they blowing up. They calling in on my side because they they want to. Well, if you do have sign. an opinion you'd like to weigh in, feel free to call us three two three four seven three thirty one hundred four seven three thirty one hundred. Because this brother right. here obviously needs some emotional support. Perhaps there's that's a therapist right. that's tuning in that's okay. that can help him make his way that's back okay. to the daddy light. That's okay. my, my son called me today. My, me, me, we we had a conversation, and I took my father out. I took my father out today. Oh, you did? <laughs> yep. I took okay, him, so I took you him practice this, what you preach. Of course, I took him to this Creole uh, restaurant because uh, he's from the south. And this guy, he's always bragging about how you know authentic his Creole food is and down south food. So I, I took my father, but he, he actually he, he actually liked it. So my dad was like impressed with it. He said, "Okay." He said, so okay. it's the real deal. Yeah, it was good. So you Uncle. scored a hundred points with yeah. pops. Yep. I, so I, I'm sure I you put it. out a flyer to eight, you know, like notice service to your child. Like what happened? You know, he dropped the ball or something. Didn't take pops out. Oh no 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 no! He had to work. No, he normally we have normally the three of us go out together. He'll he'll come down and then uh, so it'll be father, son, grandson, 
and we go out and hang out and have lunch or something together. But he couldn't because he had to go to work. At the time that I was picking my dad up to take him out, he would have to go to work, so he wouldn't be able to go because he's he's way out in the valley. So, well, you know, maybe you have some advice you can part to some of these because uh, it is a different day. To all the young, real daddies, you know, <laughs> the real daddies. Not the real daddies out there trying to be, <laughs> no, trying no, to be. How about the the, the the fathers trying to be uh, a, 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 a parent to their child? And their mamas is blocking. Well, maybe their finances are blocking. Maybe you know because I, you know, kids are that. aren't kids are expensive. I don't understand that their parents, their, their, their finances are, are blocking, meaning they don't have enough. That? income to, to, do what? to do whatever they want to do with their kid other that, than feed that, them and clothe that, them. That has nothing, well that has nothing to do with being, being a father because you don't have money. That okay well then break it down because I don't know I'm not either a, or. That can't that doesn't mean you can't be in your child's life. Right right. You, just, <laughs> you might have to tell him you ain't got no money but at least you're there to tell him. Yeah. This, I mean this is just a matter of you just uh, just being there. And look like, Van he's going to say something. He, he wants to chime in on this. Yeah because like for me being a single parent Myself and my daughter's on the East Coast while I'm here on the West Coast. Um, I support her financially, but she knows the type of father I am. When I tell her I'm broke, that means she's broke. When I'm paid, she's paid, and she knows that. You know how some dads will tell their children they don't have any money and their pockets are swollen for whatever reason? I'm not that kind of guy. And I, I can't be there. But at least I, I call her on the phone. Exactly. But this is a child you raised. She's grown now, right? Yeah. 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 So that's kind of different because you she's she's seen firsthand. You actually give your life to raise her, to be there for her through the good, the bad. Yeah, yeah, way. yeah. Because yeah, I was there from you know I was fortunate to have full custody of her. So yeah, and I was there when she was born. She was born April the eleventh, nineteen ninety one, on a Thursday evening. You're a proud dad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 7.32 p.m. Didn't pass out in the room. <laughs> nope. Seen and it I wanted to take a down. video in there, but her mom's were like, get out of here. Yeah, I wouldn't have did and that. She weighed, and she weighed 8 pounds, 11 ounces. So the only thing I don't remember is the room they was in. <laughs> you know, I, I, I um, took a little Ricky, you know, my adopted kid to church and uh, he's visiting here for about the next maybe week and a half two weeks and you know I was just thinking like wow money is really tight and I was saying to myself you know his dad whether I agree or didn't agree with some of his methods in raising him he did the best he could because you have to provide not only for yourself it's one thing because I only have you for two weeks and I'm trying to scramble to think of how I can make this a good experience for you with whatever challenges I'm dealing with but he's had to have you all your years and they may not have been all the best years but the fact that he didn't abandon you or leave you and he stayed there irrespective of the fact that your mom and there's a situation where the mom actually walked out when he was four um i had to just stop and just take my hat off and be like wow like kudos to you and um and so we had a good experience this morning in church because I was like, you know, church doesn't cost anything and you can learn a lot of great things and, and be taught a lot of great things that you could, if you apply to your life that will help strengthen you inside, you know, because a lot of times we get defeated in going after our dreams, going after our goal because we are full of fear or we don't believe in ourselves. You made a great point because, again, there's a lot of things that parents can do with their children that don't cost any money whatsoever. Go into the park. You know, go to the park. Library. Library, museums. Yeah. They got free museums, things like that. So it's dependent on who that person, that parent is and what they, you know, um, can think they you know that they can do so yeah you know you made a very strong point Ro, by saying that church didn't cost anything but you can have fun at church and also too um th with the whole see people will use finances as an excuse not to participate see kids don't care about anything about that it, they it it's it's you that they want and if uh like you said being there when they're doing something in school if they are in drama class or music class go to their recitals go to their concerts go to their games you know that kind of thing that doesn't cost any money yeah. for you to be there they just want to be able to look up and see that mom or dad is there and that's enough for them and, and kids are very resilient they understand and they can tell the difference between neglect and someone that's being involved they know you're not you're not getting over they and they realize and this they may not be able to how, know how to express it until they're older but they will realize it that those days that you weren't there when they get older and it'll, and it'll cost you so the thing about money and they'll and they, they won't they won't allow you to even have that excuse and it's, it's so different now too because unfortunately and i see this because of him it's like 
Xbox and Netflix are like childhood killers because you spend so much time in Xbox and now you have so much you have such a catalog and a library before you of videos and movies and different things. It's like you don't even have to leave the house. You don't even know what playing outside and the cool games you used to play outside mm-hmm. like Old Lady Witch and Red Light, Green Light, Yellow Light. Yep. You're like, what's that? But well, you did, um, Rory, you did make an important um, um, point because our, your children, when they have these uh, events, they know as soon as their parents walk in that door mm-hmm. or if their parents are already in the audience and as soon as they walk out on stage, they feel their parents' presence. Mm-hmm. And they'll know. And it, like you said, it, it does ma- uh, matter. Uh, my sister, she was in a, um, she played varsity for a high school um, basketball team. And she said with all the noise and everything that involves in a basketball game, she says she, she can hear my voice. Hooping and hollering for. Oh yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, my son was in. Uh, he was in karate, and I was at every one of his, every one of his matches uh, when he played basketball. I was at every one of his games. I used to tease him because you know I'm a big Laker fan. And no, so I wouldn't get that from you. Sometimes he would <laughs> have he would have games on Laker games. And I would be like, I don't know, son. It's the Lakers, and they playing, they playing the Celtics. I don't know. No, you're yeah. saying his game will be the same night as that. Yeah, his <laughs> game will be the same night as Lakers. So you're like karate this. match, and I'd be like, I'm going to have to make a decision. And his mom would be like, you know you're going to his game. Like, I don't know. It's the Lakers and the Celtics. I don't know if I can. But, of course, I'd go to his games. But he'd be, he'd be wondering. You yeah. want to show, but uh, yeah, and I would never do that, you know. But you, some parents would. Some, some parents, parents would. don't even encourage their kids to participate in anything. Right. They don't look at it. PTA. What's a PTA? Parent right. teachers, a PTO, or whatever they're calling it now. Mm-hmm. And and uh, and their kid goes through their whole um, adolescent experience, not being encouraged to try basketball, try volleyball, try sports that will get them in the game of not only life, but what we we're talking about fitness. Because yeah. when you get to a certain season in life. You know, all of a sudden, health is like wealth for real. But when you're young, right. you you just take it for granted. You don't take even think granted. about right. your knees giving out or you need a new hip or you having to take Motrin and, and, and aspirin just to help the aches that you experience. I don't take day. Motrin. I just like to say that right now for the record. <laughs> you don't have to take that. Well, people always take it. We, we take it for cribs, too. Yep, I don't take that. Oh, you going to say something like you be? You take Motrin at your age? <laughs> Oh, she, she uh, takes I don't take any uh, pills actually. Oh, okay. I do everything natural. There it is. There it is. Yeah, natural. Well, that's a new generation. Natural. I tell you. I'm natural. Give me too. the process stuff. See, there you go. <laughs> Although I there should you. because <laughs> so much pain <laughs> that I be in, but there I just be is. like, no. Girl, you know what? What is a natural painkiller? Sleep, sleep, tea, tea. For me, tea. Um, hot rag. You know, cold rag. You know. The the mm. hot water bottle and the heating pad went yes. out with Motrin. <laughs> when Motrin came back, when I was mm, with the cramps, mm, mm. I'm like, But see, Ooh. here's the thing about that. You don't want your body to be dependent on that kind of stuff because it's really not. It, a lot of people think that it makes it go away. It really doesn't. It just deadens the area that's hurting, and then it allows you actually to do more damage to that area. Now, if you're going to rest that area, if it's one thing to be in pain, and you, and you want to take it to, to mask the pain while you sit your behind yeah, down. Yeah. I got you. But see, some people will do it, and they'll continue on as if, oh, I'm healed. I'm guilty of that. Like, I take Motrin before I go work out out because I I want the pain to be deadened while I'm working out. Like, but but this is the problem. pain is good. Because, you know, I'm a part of a fitness challenge, and pain is good until it doesn't go away. Because when you're working out, isn't it supposed to get better and dissipate right, in but the but distance? But when you're working out, the pain means that it's good. You got to keep pain. the pain. You can't, you know, heal it. And if the yeah. pain does not go away, then that means that there's something going on. That's why the pain exists. I remember yeah. this, this, this nutritionist said that. He said people don't realize pain is there for a reason. Yeah. Because if you didn't have pain, you wouldn't know when there's a problem. And a lot of people don't think of it that way. And that's kind of deep because that's not just in the physical sense, but the emotional sense, right. the mental sense. It's, it's like a trigger. You, it's saying right. red it's flag, you, right. something's, something, up, something's, something's wrong. Something's wrong here. So take care of it <coughs> before it gets worse. For instance, uh, prime example, my situation here with uh, with these spots that I hate, but I'm getting rid of them. Thank goodness I'll be able to get away. What is but it? It's shingles. That shingles? Yeah. Well, it's not now. It's gone now. Was it shingles? Did you know that it was, was shingles? No. But see, here's what happened. Here's what I'm talking about. I had the, I had a pain on my forehead, 
and I had a little bump and I said I've never hit my head so why is my head hurting now I could have just went on and ignored it and said oh, I had to go away because this is not minor but it was unusual because I didn't hit my head so I went to the doctor right away and she noticed she says well did you know that you have a couple other and she initially called an insect bites because they were just little bumps and I said well no I didn't notice the other two I just know this is one but I was very sensitive to the touch on the top of my head and she said and then she happened to ask me when I told her that she said have you had chicken pox I said yeah I had chicken pox as a kid so I was like I know it ain't chicken pox I had that as a kid well she says no it could be shingles because shingles is a is a is a virus that you get when you get chicken pox so, but it comes out later in life. One in three people get shingles. Is it because had of stress pox. though? It can become from stress or uh, a compromised immune system or something because it's just like uh, it's something that triggers it. So it's a virus. Once you have chicken pox, you already have the shingles virus. It's there. It's like a sickle cell trait or whatever. Yeah, I got you. You know, something like that. I think every so, kid pretty much gets so chicken pox. So what I, what I did, she's never had them. And, oh, and so... Had. She said, but we can't do anything about it because I figure, well, I'm right here. Let's knock this <laughs> out. Let's take care of it. And she was like, well, no, we can't. It has to actually have an outbreak, which means it has to blister up, kind of like chicken pox would do or whatever, so we can diagnose it. So, so we that's can actually what they did? See. So she said, if it, go, if it flares up, come back. Don't wait till whenever. Yeah. Come back to urgent care. And sure enough, over the next couple of days, it did flare up, but it never, I was fortunate because you know, was my, my cousin was like, oh, my gosh, you know, they're calling me. Are you okay? Are you in pain? Blah, blah, blah. And I did not have the pain. My cousin had it. She said she could barely walk. and But she said she had them in her back. Oh, okay. And so I, but I was like, okay, I'm a, I'm a worst-case scenario kind of person. I'm like, okay, what's the worst-case scenario that could go along with this? She said, well, she said because of where it's at around your eye, she said it can go into the retina and attack your eye and you can go blind. Oh, dang. And she said, or it can go into the brain and give you meningitis and kill you. <laughs> Dang. So I was like, that's a pretty bad scenario. So uh, yeah. at that point, but but when I went back and they diagnosed it, I jumped on the antibiotics. Boom. I I was off work for for like nine days. Oh, yeah. You stayed. told them you were like, yeah. I'm going to heal myself. Yeah. And, and I just was drinking my water. I was taking all my herbal stuff and just, you know, cleansing myself. And, and it never got the worst it did get because she showed me pictures of people that had it oh my gosh it was like and i was like worried because i'm kind of vain i admit it vanity <laughs> my favorite sin remember that kind of movie, remember that <laughs> yes. kind of movie? yeah so, I was so yeah so i was like thinking I was like, advocate. Yeah, yeah i was like oh i couldn't but because i jumped on it and just sat my behind down I never had that excruciating you pain. You didn't go to the gym or nothing, huh? No, I was at home for nine days. All I went was from home to Redbox to rent <laughs> movies. And I was at the house <laughs> drinking water and nutrition and that. And it, the worst it get, my eye closed, but it never attacked in the eye. Yeah, and yeah, so once yeah. I got done, I had to go to the optical. Also, you probably couldn't rub eye. anything, right? Because no, it was making you just, spread. You just, take the, you just took the antibiotics and you just chilled. and sat, And within the day, as fast as it came, it pretty much went away. I didn't have all the itching that everybody was telling me I would have. I didn't have all the soreness. I had irritation. Now, the only thing that lasted long because it attacks the nerve, and, you know, it takes a nerve a while to settle, is I was sensitive to the touch on my head. So, combing my hair or what have you, that was lasted a, little, a lot longer. But as fast as it came, it went away. And I didn't have any of that stuff that everybody else had. But that's because, again, you jumped on it, and then I sat my behind down. Right. That's why I tell people, if you get sick, you, you're going to get sick. I don't care how healthy you are yeah. because there's so much stuff that we're up against. So you're going to get sick. It's how you recover from when you get sick. This is like I rarely catch cold. Right. But when I catch one, I sit my behind out and I just drink water because I flush my system. So you don't allow mucus to set up in your system. Yeah. And then I just need a day. Just give me a day. And then after that, I'm good. I'm good to go. But people, will, you know. They continue or to continue to go to work and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, I'm, you know, you, you I, well, you're I, no I was, good to yourself. It's, it's like, you know, good to yourself. And then you, yeah. then you come and you contaminate other people who have weak immune systems. And, you know, people say, oh, you gave me your cold. Well, basically, because I can be around sick people because I have a pretty strong immune system. So it's really just a matter of your immune system. And people don't realize that this, and you know, since we're talking about God and here and stuff, you have to realize. God designed the body to heal itself. Medicine does not heal the body. 
Understand that. Medicine, a man-made chemical, does not heal the body because chemicals are not conducive to the structure of the body. The body is basically, you, you need nu nutrients. What, it helps fight off whatever is going on it to a certain it point? It deadens it. It deadens it. That's how the medical profession makes their money. Think about it. Look at grandma or your mom or even us. And now we're at that age where, remember back in the day, you, you go into the grandma's medicine cabinet and she got, oh, this is from my arthritis right here. This cupcake here is from my, my arthritis. This cupcake right here is from my sugar. And this one right here is from my blood. And you got all these bottles and bottles and bottles of medications. Yeah. And all these medications, think about it, they're going to counteract something else that's in the body because it's all chemical stuff in the meantime we having soul food oh yeah you kill, you're killing us with a fork yeah and I, I heard this comedian one time say it was so funny like when you go to a funeral <laughs> and when you go to the repast <laughs> they serve all the food at the repast that killed the person that you, <laughs> you know, he was at <laughs> 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 fried chicken macaroni and cheese cornbread doolins doolins we're gonna see you afterwards <laughs> man what's what it's we like, about it's like that's why homeboy's in the box now <laughs> we're right there eating the food but that's the whole thing we don't feed our body what it needs to heal itself and then that's why the medical profession makes so much money off of us and they, it's like it's called healing you to death Wow. Because that's what it is. It's a business. But the the, the more you get, it's, it's not to say, and I'm not saying don't go to the doctor. That's dumb. Go to the doctor. Find out what's wrong with you. But then as far as getting healing yourself, don't depend on all these medicines. Stop eating the crap, at least for a little while. I mean, you know, you can eat crap, but eat more fruit and vegetables and stuff. And uh, look, look, Ro, there's a caller. Oh, we have a caller? What? Somebody's <laughs> calling. What's up? This is GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio. Life and uh, Father's Day edition. Father's Day. Trisha Man Grant. <laughs> oh, it's Trisha Man Grant. Trisha, Trisha Man Grant. Man Grant. <laughs> you get that crazy video we shot? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I didn't even take the time to look at it. I said, let me just call them right now. <laughs> somebody right. was talking a whole bunch of junk yeah. on somebody, you and, 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 and yeah, the what, other. What you got to say about me? What no, no, no. Else? Somebody. Don't somebody. say y'all. <laughs> It was just you, one person. It was just one of them. You, you need to go watch that video <laughs> by yourself. Watch that video. Yeah. So how you feeling, girl? We've been praying for you and missed you. And you know what? Everybody in the studio, I say hi, everybody. Oh. Hey, Trisha. Hey, everybody. Oh, my God. I mm -hmm. miss you guys. I miss you all so much. And can I tell you, honestly, all the prayers. Don't be scaring us like that. Yeah. All the prayers from my family, friends, all the prayers from you guys have really worked. And God is amazing because technically I shouldn't even be walking around. I'm at the movie theater in Atlanta right now. With it's my about nothing. It's, 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 listen, it's our third year anniversary. And how she and still keep a job? She's yeah, sick day, huh? Oh, yes. you go. You you look. You at you going to see Jurassic Park? No, but that's a good idea. No, we're gonna go see Spy. What? Yeah, yeah, I want to see Spy. I heard a Spy. I, I heard Spy was funny. Jump around, you know, something yeah. funny and be good. I need. To oh yeah, you right can't. Be, <laughs> you hear her? She said she don't need something to have a heart jumping around. Wait a minute. Here's my question. I'm sorry. I got to ask a question now. How, Trisha? How that takes a lot of lot of gonads to sit here and be on sick leave and call a job and say you at the movies. That's when you're a boss. That's <laughs> boss stuff right there. You know, I got it like that. Yeah, I heard that. That's hey, boss hey, stuff right she there. She actually. Hey, this hey, is a part. You. This is a part of her doctor's resume. Testimony, you know, you got to bring uh, it out the right way. And oh, that's what good I'm doing. Lord. Oh, ain't that about, mm -hmm. ah, ain't that about nothing? <laughs> you know, you got it like bring that. it out in a celebratory, I mean, a, a celebratory style. <laughs> she had it right. Cele celebrity. <laughs> in a right, celebrity style. Nice Sound that's like a movie movie civil there. service worker to me. <laughs> Uh -huh. It's like a civil service worker to me. It's like a civil service job you got. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I sent Mr. Grant uh, 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 a shout out for Father's Day. Hopefully he got it. I text him Happy Father's Day. So, oh, you did to Tony? Yeah. Um, could you come here real quick and just say hi to everybody at Gospel Rhythm? He's he's walking over. Say hi. What's oh, up? We on the air live. What's up, Rory? What's up? What's happening? It's, What's it's, it's the Rory Rose Show. Happy, 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 happy Father's Day, right. there, Tony. Hey, Rory, I know you. Rory, I know you probably got a pet gorilla in the backyard. So happy Father's Day. <laughs> 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 What's that? What's that? <laughs> Miss Chisel or Nizzle? <laughs> Team Roro is up in here running. Yeah, things. that's right. That's Not right. the Grants. Not Roll the Grants. Roll. It's Rolling Roll. 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 Anything. Roll Roll up in this Roll Roll. But it's Team Grant over here, all right? Yeah, uh, we, we understand. Love Grant. Uh, the Grants. <laughs> 
just want to say out there to the gospel rhythms world, all the fellas out there, happy Father's Day, and all the single mothers that's doing their thing, happy Father's Day as well. You, we're going to represent you today. So God bless <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Rory and Rosina, thank you all so much for holding it down. With the of course. Uh, thank you for the prayers. Yes. Uh, I truly appreciate it. God bless you. I got to go. Love uh, you. Bye. I love you. Right. 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 Before, before I go, uh, happy Father's Day, Rory, and happy thank Father's you, Day, Veneric. <laughs> he heard you. He heard you. He said thank you. All right, yeah, girl, get you? some rest. Oh, he said thank you. Get I'm some here. Rest. I'm okay, good. Yeah. So, um, I just want you guys to know that I did rest, and uh. I want everybody out there with health issues to take them seriously, mm-hmm. and yeah. make sure that you get your rest. Make sure you eat properly. Mm. Make sure you take care of your body because it's the only body that you have. And I'm telling you, you know, we could have all the money in the world. We could have all the, the fame in the world. You could have everything you have wanted and desired. But if you don't have proper health, then what do you have? Because if you can't do nothing because you're laying on your back sick in the hospital bed, mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. none of that Preach. means anything. So please take we care We just was of talking about that, girl. Just talked about it. Just talked yeah, about that. I feel sure. the confirmation. There it is. Yeah, just been yeah. Con- I just been yeah it confirmed. is. I bless you guys. I love you. I'll be back on Sunday, so we'll be on the air and pop it and rolling on Sunday. Thank you for your prayers. Will you, All right, girl, will you be you. here? Will you be here July fifth when I'm an actual guest to interview us, our cast? Yes. Yay. Okay. Yay. Good. On July fifth. Good. Yes, good. Good. Yeah. Honestly, well, I'll right. be decompressing okay. from all the food we eat on the fourth. <laughs> yeah, I'll be blessed. I'm gonna go see this movie. All right, girl. <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay. All righty. Bye. Bye. Yeah, Trisha Man Grant. Trisha Man Grant, ladies and gentlemen, Trisha, Trisha Man, Man Grant, Grant back on her feet. Let's give her a good round of applause. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's our studio audience. <laughs> we thank y'all for coming. We thank y'all for coming, studio audience. <laughs> y'all so not crazy. on camera. We thank y'all for being here. It's so crazy, but yeah, health is is it's it's there like it priceless. You know, there I think uh, you know I'm I'm a housewife junkie, and I watch the Beverly Hills Housewives, and here you know. Um, one of the housewives, the husband is worth millions upon millions, and she is suffering in her health from getting bit by a tick and mm. uh, Lyme disease. And it's oh, like you just yeah. you you see how like she probably would trade it all in to be able to have her health back, to be able Absolutely. to do the small things that she used to could do, like comb her hair without feeling the pain in her joints. And mm-hmm. it's um. It's, it Absolutely. is not a game And uh, let's also add that Just because you're young Because Trish is young You know You look up And you're young It's like you look up And you find that Something's wrong And it's like Oh mm-hmm. my god What just happened here And Nip it in the yeah, bud Yeah yeah And you, it starts It can start from what you eat What you eat can it, Because it's like It's the fuel That you're putting in your body There you go Someone told me Don't stop putting Arco gas in your car Because It's not now, I don't know if it's true or not But you know I'm not, not trying to like Lose Arco, Arco as a potential sponsor well uh, you know in terms of the quality of the what you why you have a commentary you use I'm arco Ar- arco is for rent cars <laughs> <laughs> oh you would never do that to pearl huh <laughs> pearl no 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 <laughs> and meanwhile pearl got like three hundred thousand miles. that's right 365 and counting baby what <laughs> girl what? We that's gonna my ride pearl. pearl till the boats that's fall off. That's right. Pearl on the show. Okay. That's right. When Pearl dies, she... I ain't gonna be mad. I'm gonna just get out and say thank you for the for the good times, Pearl. Thank you for the last 15 years, girl. Pearl and is. She like... stopped on me on the freeway. Uh, yeah, I Did heard. You see, you I see my video? Triple A had to come. Triple A had to come and get us. Triple A had to come and get us off the 405 freeway last week. Week before last. Me and Pearl was on our way, and all of a sudden the heat started just rising. <laughs> don't you keep like a thing of water in the car because you know well, no, at her no, age, no. Oh, that's no, no, how no. they do. Oh no, no, Pearl don't roll like that now. No, no, when she's rolling, she's good. It just happened. I had a broken fan, and with the fan, it was partially broken, which I knew about. And but when I was driving, that's it, how it you broke. ride your girl. You it you broke. knew something was wrong, and you didn't take care of her it, health, but you are gonna take care of your health. Yes, you wrong. See, see, it see. broke <laughs> completely, <laughs> and then it hit the uh, radiator. And caused did you hear it out. when it when it happened? No, no, I was because we were weren't even moving because you know four or five. So I was and all of a sudden the needle just started to rise. I was like, what's going on? And I saw like you know like the steam, but you always think of somebody else's car. I'm like, you ought to get that fixed. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> that don't make no sense. He rolling down. He ought to be embarrassed. <laughs> rolling down the highway. I would never do that to Pearl. And boom, it was Pearl. 
I barely got over. I barely got over to the side. I was, I was, like, class, I was gonna ask you. How I you get over? Had, no, because I was already kind of in the right lane anyway. Oh, okay. So I just had. I just got over before. Because I would have sucked if you was a duck in I the know. middle of the lane. No, I, I got. I was able to get over, but I mean that needle rolls quick, and I was like, oh. So I shut it off, and AAA came and got me. But wait, so I thought I had the premium package. <laughs> And, you uh, only they, had the 20 to they, 7 mile I only had the package. 7 mile And the lady said You're 10 miles away From where you want to go And so I said I'm thinking it's like $5 a mile It was $9 a mile Do you know <laughs> I did not pay <laughs> I said uh, Drop me off At the 7 And we'll be about 3 miles away I sat there Because he had to put it On a flatbed I started Pearl up Drove it when the needles start to get hot, pulled over <laughs> and sat and waited for Pearl to cool off so we can do this. Pearl, save us thirty dollars. I'm gonna need that money for the repairs. <laughs> I waited about twenty minutes, started Pearl up again. We made it just as the needle got to the right to my mechanic. Sure did. Oh. Thirty dollars for Pearl. She she's rolling out. She wasn't worth the extra thirty dollars. Heck no, thirty dollars. That's that's too much money for three miles. That's oh, messed up. Nah, that's I said we can wait up. and we can Pearl will make it. <laughs> she says she we've been through it before, so she'll make it. But oh my god, no more long trips though. She's done. That's she's retired this, from the long yeah, trips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should. Well, you know, you know how you know, pushing her to you know how you know that's just when evil. it's time when a mechanic is like a lawyer. Man, you can back me up. A mechanic is like a lawyer. You know, they're going to take every single dime they can get. So when a mechanic or a lawyer says, <laughs> when the mechanic said, look, she's done. <laughs> it's, when the mechanic said that, because, you know, a mechanic will keep fixing that puppy as long as you bring. My mechanic, that's how I know he's good. He's cool. He said, he said, Rory, she's tired. She's tired. <laughs> it was like, it's just a matter of time. That was the mechanic. <laughs> That's, you know, I was like, wow. So I just know. Newsflash, cars get old, too. Yeah. He was like, it's tired. It's time for you to start looking. I said, that's the mechanic. So I was like, yeah, that's, that's real. Then that You've point. enjoyed that no note for, so, for as long as you could. Yep, now it's so, time to just give up the ghost. So no more, no more trips to the Vegas on the, in Pearl because she won't make it up the hill. <laughs> she will not make it up the hill because you know what it's doing? It's, it's, it's like the transmission is slipping. So it doesn't catch all the time when you first hit the gas. It kind of guns, and then it catches. Did you get here so to the show in Pearl? Yeah, she's good local. <laughs> she's good local, but if she had to go up there. You know them Vegas hills. You can't make it up that four thousand foot elevation. I Pearl, I'm Pearl. not a driver to uh, oh, well, Vegas back and You know, forth, it's so a couple of four thousand feet the elevation. I'm passenger, and I'm usually sleep, uh, so I don't well, ever feel the gradation up Well, and down. it's a four thousand foot elevation. Two, I'm, two or three, I'm going to Vegas. Oh, Pearl yeah, will so. not make that elevation. She, she will be she, rolling. She backwards. had her last run. Yeah, Hope so you videotaped I'm, it. I'm in now in rent a car world. That's <laughs> how I know you go to Arco. <laughs> That's when you put our <laughs> code gas in it. Ain't my car. Man, so uh so the more of the show is take care of your health and, and your, your car. car's health. And your car's health. <laughs> your car's health. And your kids. And your kids' you don't need, health. You know what did we learn today? You don't need money to, to love your kids. It's like a recap, yeah. You don't yeah, need money you don't to need money love, to your love, kids. love your kids. And it a, helps. And a Camry can go at least three hundred and sixty five thousand miles if you take good care <laughs> of it. Camry. That's my Pearl. She's a Camry. You know why she's named Pearl? Uh, you know how Pearl got her name? Old? I don't no, no, know. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no Pearl's like an old person's name. No, well, no, no the reason by name Pearl, but the reason she's named Pearl is because that's the phys- That's the you know how cars have these crazy name colors when you buy yeah. them, like metallic. Oh, that's per- her color. Her color is vintage red pearl. That's the uh, technical color of the car. So oh, I just short didn't nice. call her Pearl. Oh, it's so such an I didn't call her Pearl because she was old. That's cold. <laughs> that's messed up. You are now named Pearl. You have reached a. 15 year mark Your name is now Pearl You used to be Pearly yeah, so Now you just Pearl Nope And you know My license plate is In homage <laughs> In homage To to her To pay my respect It's uh My license plate is now It says Forever Pearl I thought right. you said something about the homage, but you meant to pay homage to her. Homage. Like, what about the homage? homage. The H is <laughs> oh, like, silent. Did you think he was talking about the homage? The homage. I was like, what the homage? Not the Not the community. I was like, what the homage got the Jewish community? Homage. Homage. Okay, Respect I get it now. I get it now. Forever for, Pearl. Forever Pearl is on my license plate. Right. I changed well, it. Well, that mess up your like your chick game if you know you I guess what? you know like what you you got think, on your I license think, plate forever I think it helps my chick game because I'm showing loyalty well what I'm saying forever is Pearl. not too many people would think that it's you're, I'm gonna say follow you on Facebook that you were paying homage to a car like forever pearl well it's forever pearl but it's still a woman 
<laughs> they said, oh, he's so loyal. Yeah, it better he be your so, mama loyal. He is, he is so ah, dedicated. Ah, so girl dedicated. better be your mama. <laughs> he's so dedicated to one woman. Look at that. He put. Uh, uh, like you know, I uh, probably get a lot of men in trouble. As they said, forever. Per- <laughs> Look at there. He loves his woman. You don't, you don't. I bet you won't put me on your license plate like that, would you? See, they don't even know. They don't even I'm know. I'm getting in trouble. No, Happy Father's Day. Yeah. Happy Father's, Father's Day, Day, fellas. Happy Father's, Father's, Father's Day, fellas. You should get write a book trouble. on how to keep your game at half yes. a century tight, right, there not a go. sight. That's From right. From your car to your kids to your girl. You there know you what go. I'm saying? Woo, I just, psh, there it is. Dang, you're just a the poet. And I'm, no, I'm just giving you prophetic vision. Like, look, that's, I see that. I see the book. She giving you the juice. Oh, you know what I mean? You see the book? I know. It's like, it's like, oh, you're a wealth of knowledge. There it You've is. You've reached the half a century point where you are the field that has a harvest that you want to dole out and disseminate among the young masses because they need it. So <laughs> you trying to call me old some kind of way. I feel like it. No, you but you're well seasoned. Lengthening. You're seasoned. There it is again. <laughs> you're seasoned. Hey, but but look look how good black don't crack because you could you if I if we didn't know we wouldn't know. Ain't like you came here talking about. I'm a senior saint up in this piece, and I just want to say, I've been well, a no. long here for life. No, no, no. I'm very, uh, I'm very active. I'm very we have active. to stay that way. It's very important. To, oh, I tell you what happened. Let me tell you. Can I, can I tell you how great my birthday month has been? Yes. Just tell thank me. God. Thank God. You didn't go on any cruises yet. Thank God. No, no, no. Cruises not till next year. I know you ain't going, Van Eric. <laughs> I'm going on my friends and family cruise next year. Friends and family. So you're welcome to go. I'll give you the information. You let me know far like enough in advance. Oh, please. It's February. Plan. It's February the sixth, two thousand sixteen. Like, well, you can make payments on it. Five, yes. Okay. Yes. Five. Uh, it's five days going to the uh, going to Jamaica. Ultra oh, I Rios. love Jamaica. Ultra, Ultra Rios. Rios. That's right. We're going to Ultra Rios, I Jamaica. I passed out in one of and, the beaches there. And, and the Cayman Islands. Nice. Yeah, five days. I want to go. Huh? How, how how much for the week? It's uh, not including airfare. Watch. Well, not well, it ain't including airfare because we don't. You pay your own airfare. Fine. So uh, it's about uh, shoot for a regular cabin. You see, per person. And is weather Friday, great that about time? Eight hundred dollars to Miami. Yeah, it's Miami. At least out of Miami, it's about eight hundred dollars. A week? That per person for five days that's good all you can eat shoot a nice ship uh, and, and she has activities and stuff. oh it's gonna be off the chain how I'm much excited. is your week can i get your week discount because i know you're the birthday boy <laughs> oh no it's not for a birthday no 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 it doesn't do with birthday no it's, it's just a cruise to celebrate your it's just a, it's super bowl cruise oh super bowl cruise is that weekend okay yeah all right well we'll have to talk more about that oh it's off the chain I already put my deposit down. Okay. So it's, it's off the chain. But uh, well, anyway, as I was saying, let me tell you how God was so good to me for my birthday. I just like to thank him right now. So I got to go see Motown. Right. The musical. Early June. I right. Was in the, I was in the second row. Okay? I heard. Second. I had better seats. Uh, who was there? What's her name? Dinah Ross's daughter. What's her name? Tracy. Tracy Ellis. She was behind me. <laughs> okay. I was like, Hey Tracy, <laughs> could you go to your seat? Could you, uh, <laughs> usher? Could you, you be like, "There's no need to tame your hair because yeah, I'm in yes, front of I'm you." Yes, I'm in front of you, so don't worry about <laughs> it. I'm in front of you. You're back there. So I went there. I went to a play. Uh, I went to this play. Went to my 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 biweekly casino run. Oh yeah, Valley I View saw casino. the money you won. That you know, was right. Whatever he got, came like, up, Van Eric. Eight hundred dollars. Bam! Uh, from one hundred to eight hundred. Started with a hundred. Now I'm there. Nine hundred, baby. Walked what were you away. playing? The, the slot machine? Well, yeah, it was. It was this game called Mayan Chief. That's a cool game. Yeah, I called, guess it is called, cool because you won it's a lot. Called, it's called Mayan Chief. It's a cool game. And yeah. what what casino was this? Not Valley, that we are Valley View casinos, but okay. Valley View. What is? I've Valley never View? heard of that one. It's in San Diego. It's nice. I take a bus up there. It's so funny. The? It's so funny. I told my dad. I know they be hating me. Those people because. I'm the only one that don't have a walker. <laughs> Everybody got three, three, three to six legs. And, right they're, smoking, they got and they're smoking with oxygen tanks huh? rolling. Well, uh, not too much, but they, they smoke. But it's so funny because I'll be on the bus and I know they'd be like, okay, why are you here? <laughs> it's like, you know, we're all retired and 
Got nothing got else more to than, do. Got more than two legs, and you're the only one here walking on your own legs, on your own power. Everybody else is. Another reason why health is wealth. It's like and they're I mean, probably like, like three years older than you. <laughs> yeah. it'd, be, it'd be funny. I do feel funny because I feel like they be hating me. You know, you, you old young, healthy so and so. Don't you. help me. I can get it <laughs> I know, myself. I can do it myself. Get away from me. Yeah, it will take them all day to get off the bus. Ah. Take them all day. But I, I love it. It's a nice because uh, you know what I like about it because I, I, I'm in traffic, right? But I ain't driving, so it don't bother me. I be just like, "Ooh, that poor bus driver! Look at him! Ain't my fault! Ain't my problem! Keep it moving." Well, I just want to say, on behalf of Gospel Rhythms, we are so blessed to have you here. Before Aww. we go out, I wanted to. Uh, we have uh, some images of kids in the spotlight to remind everybody to support our cause. Because oh, okay. yes. you know these Absolutely. young kids that, that are in a group home and in the foster care system, t- a lot of times they don't have the the parenting that a lot of us have been afforded and blessed to have. Mm. We have um, we have uh, whether you are raised by one parent or two parent. Oftentimes they get taken away from either parent or both parents and put into mm. a system where okay. they're forced to live in a foster care s- home or a group home mm-hmm. and so we just wanted to um to give uh give them some love and if you can go to the kids in the spotlight website ty burrell uh the the father on um, modern family okay. he is a supporter of kids in the spotlight and there's a contest where he is actually um where you can win an opportunity to um, have him as your dad for the day, isn't that? Th- I think I've heard of that. They they what well, they make like little films or something. What yeah, yeah, it's um, okay, movies yeah. for kids by yeah, kids. Yeah, and yeah. So you got to come out this year uh, to the film festival. Yeah, I and, did. Uh, I so it's called Kids in the Spotlight. Taji Charity um, founded it, and it's been growing and doing awesome. We pretty much started in the same year. Gospel Rhythms and Kids in the Spotlight. We were birthed out of a vision um, that God gave each of us independently, but it was inspired because our pastor was encouraging us to dream and walk into our dream you know don't right. just just dream about it and wish for it but you know and um he took us on this series called the dreamers journey and it talked about joseph and the mistakes that dreamers make and i just want to encourage anybody out there whether it's your dream of raising uh, being a parent raising healthy and 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 um productive children or walking in your gifts of whatever that is and um, I know you have so many gifts from producing, writing, directing, acting, um, just singing. I'm like, you're like a entertainer whether that's your thing um just walk boldly and if you're a dj if you're a radio personality if you're behind the scenes whatever it is just um remember god is great he gives you great vision and great faith so don't let doubt and fear um block you from believing in yourself and when you struggle with your belief just ask god to help you with your unbelief there's plenty of examples in the word that shows you where people have question themselves even even we have questioned ourselves at different points along our journey but you know whatever it is just believe 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 you know even in what my weight loss journey with this this um challenge you know i feel like oh the first part of this year wasn't as productive as i, as I like and i thought about it you know six weeks are going to go by they could either go by with me either staying the same weight or being heavier at the end of the six weeks or me at least making an effort to be better at the end of each week even if it's just a half a pound a pound lighter and mm-hmm. try to while I'm on this journey to be a better me physically to figure out where's the disconnect because it's one thing to get the outside all together but you can still be a hot mess on the inside so right. you win from within so whatever it is that is going on externally a lot of times is a result of what really is going on inside you and so whether it's emotional issue, comfort issue, whatever the issue is, you can take that issue to the Lord and just ask him to strengthen you from within. And so that as we all want to do at the end of whatever many days God blesses us with, we want to finish strong, you know, healthy and strong, not wrong. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for so, once again allowing yeah, me to be here. Yeah, man, my please, pleasure. it's a blessing. Thank you, Tricia. Glad Yay! you're doing well. Going to the movies with your husband on your anniversary. And we look forward to having you here on, as a guest with the Invisible Danny, folks. And for yes. those of you who, uh, you can come Invisible back Danny. again, yes. but uh, you can save the date. We'll just shout out the, if they want to go, it'll get more information about some stuff that you're coming up, that have coming up. What's the website? Is there a website? No, uh, no it's, not, it's not a website, but I'm on Facebook at Rory Darvell. Oh, yeah, Rory Darvell. You want to spell yes. that last name yes. for anybody who's phonically yes. challenged? Yes, D A R V E L on Facebook, Rory Darvell. And you can get Rory tickets Dar- for Invisible Danny at yeah. invisible.brownpapertickets.com. Everybody uses that. Brown mm-hmm. paper tickets. Yes. You go, brown paper tickets. Yes, get those Yay. tickets. This is a great play. No children, unfortunately, because of mature subject matter. So 
And you'll, you you yes. know, come back, you know, save the day for when he's here, July fifth, with the cast of with Invisible cast Danny. We'll talk more about it. They've been here before. It's good yes. to see it going up again. And just l- like we've had a powerful week of t- testimonies and stories from Josanne Marie and uh, and everyone who has been in the studio sharing their story about the life, uh, their life, I- things that have impacted their life. I love that how you can let God turn your mess into a message and it's a talented writer talented story behind Invisible yes. Danny and it's going to be awesome deep mm-hmm. deep very very yeah on that note on that note Heaven's Party is now over over we don't have to go home but we got to get out of here <laughs> on that note thank you so much we hope to see you back here next week <laughs> yeah bye 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 bye, bye. I mean this stuff What's going on? Through it all, gospel rhythm still going strong. Trusting God when it's good or when it's going wrong. Encourage other believers to keep holding on. Catching the vision and we making it plain. We the head, not the tail, so we won't complain. Here to lift up the downcast and the broken hearted. Changing lights with the truth, so let's get it started. We got the word, music, entertainment, life. You can catch us on the air every Sunday night. With special guests, the news, and interested.